has already been completed if you would like to know what I use the details will be provided below the first product that we're going to use is a foundation this is the max studio fix powder foundation and the shade I'm using is NW 45 now what I'm going to do with this product is apply it to the crease of my eye as a transition color and then I'm also going to bring that same product down the bridge of my nose to act as a nose contour for today's look, we're going to use the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Kit. Looks like this, okay? And the section that we're actually going to use from this is this one right here, okay? So we're going to use these four colors right here. The shade that I'm going to use is this one right here. And I'm using my Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. This is the same brush that I use to apply that MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder in the crease. So we're going to pick a little bit of that shade up, tap your brush to get the excess powder off, and then we're just simply going to swirl this inside the crease. Now, when I'm applying this, I'm focusing it on the outer V right here and just using circular motions. As you're blending that color in the outer V, be sure to also bring it down under the eye as well right here because we're going for a smoky look. It's not going to be as deep as a black smoky eye, but we definitely want the colors to look blown out on the eye. I've gone ahead and jumped a couple steps so that you guys can pretty much use this eye as a reference to what my blending is looking like as I'm applying these shades. Now to give the eye a little bit more of a contour and a depth and really, really smoke this look out, we're going to take the next darker shade, which is like the defined shade in this palette or on this section of the palette. And I'm going to use my Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And I like it because it has this dome tip on it and it's really going to allow me to get some crease work done. So the shade we're going to use is this one right here. Sorry, this one right here. Get some of that on your brush and tap the excess um, color off. By doing that, I found that I didn't have to add any excessive translucent powder. So if you're worried about fallout, I would definitely say if you applied your foundation, take um, an extra amount of translucent powder and apply it under your eyes. That way when you get done applying your eyeshadow, you can just simply brush it away and any extra fallout will just get brushed away and it won't be left um, as like streaky marks on your foundation. So go ahead, take that brush and just simply softly blend that darker shade into the eye. And we're just going to keep it right here in the crease. You can also take this and apply it to the outer edge of your eye and then also blend it under your eye. Now that you have that shadow applied to the crease, just take that same brush that we used initially, the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush or whatever blending brush you're using, just take that and start rubbing it in circular motion, sweeping it over the edges of that darker shade. It's now going to blend the colors that you had down prior to that and the new darker shade together. And you just want to make sure you're working the edges because by working the edges, you'll keep the crease still dark. Um, that way you'll have that intense look here and everything else again, just slowly fades out or looks blown out. That's how you get your smoky look. To highlight the eye, the first shade that we're going to use is this one right here. And this is going to be padded under the brow bone as a brow bone highlight. And then our lid shade is going to actually be this shade right here. So both shades are going to be padded on the eye with our eyeshadow brushes. Not any sweeping, just some padding. And then for the brow bone highlight, what I would suggest you do is to take the same brush that you used for the crease. Um, and when you pat the highlight for your brow bone on, just sweep this for the middle of those shades and that's going to blend your highlight and the crease color together now that we've gone ahead and applied our lid shade you want to just go ahead and blend out the edges of that with our crease brush um, the same one that you use for your crease work just blend out the edges of that so everything just blends flawlessly after that you want to go ahead and tight line your eye I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandal Eyes this is the waterproof exaggerate 
pencil this is a cold pencil and it is a black one I'm going to tight line my eyes and then I'm going to add a little bit of a wing liner I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Fergie gel liner this one is in little black dress and then I'm going to go over that with my Kat Von D tattoo liner I've noticed that using these two together has been making my wing liner just really pop the way that I like to use whatever products you like to use my lip color is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is the shade Lolita. I really like this color. I did purchase it from Sephora, and I'm sure I showed this in a recent haul for you guys. All right, love, so as you can see, I did go ahead and finish off the look. So after lining my eyes, all I simply did was just went ahead and applied a couple coats of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And then after that, I just apply my cheek color and this is Toasted Coconut and this is a City Color B Matte Blush. I purchased this from Five Below. And then as my highlight, I use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this is the pressed one and this one is in Rose Gold. I absolutely love this color. As far as my foundation, I know I didn't show it in the tutorial, but I did use the Prolong Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is NC45 and this is by MAC Cosmetics. Um, I do have a complete review on this. And then as my under eye highlight, I used my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I didn't do anything else outside of my normal contouring um, and that's pretty much it. I've been showing that a lot in my videos so that's the only reason why I've been cutting it out. It actually helps me be able to get my tutorials done um, a little bit faster for you guys as well as editing. So if you have any questions or comments please be sure to leave them below and as always and until next time have a great day. Hey, Dow Smooches. Mwah. Bye.